wanna talk about the number eight unsafe behavior identified, and this comes out of part 10, Cranes and Derrick standard. So the first thing identified is barricade. All counterweight needs to be barricaded, and that barricade must extend out past the counterweight. So here's a, par a couple perfect examples. Um, so this one, uh, it's, it's not even doing anything. It's not protecting uh, a single person on the job site from getting in there and getting struck by that counterweight or getting pinched in between the, the tracks and the counterweight. Here's another example. Uh, it goes below the counterweight. Uh, this crane specifically has no barricade around it, so everybody's at risk and exposed to a hazard uh, that's working around this crane. Next is voltage. So whenever you're working around a power line, you need to know the voltage uh, because what that voltage tells you how far away you have to be from that utility line. So, and this comes from planning, pre-planning. So if we're setting up a crane, make sure we visit that job site, know the voltage, and then we'll know how far we need to stay away from that voltage. All crane operators need to submit a daily plan as well as inspect the crane uh, and another thing if we're working around power lines we need to hold a power line meeting and this must be done daily with your entire work crew this is the last thing identified in the crane standard uh, for the unsafe behavior have a safe week 